Hey everyone, um, I'm Emiola. Um, I have the pleasure of working with uh, my fine colleagues. Um, uh, and my contributions to the team are working on web design and development. Um, so without further ado, uh, as Miriam said, I'm gonna walk us through the website. Give me one second. Should be able to see my screen. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna take us through the site. Um, yeah, so SG today is uh, positioned to be the global hub for real-time SCG data. And as my colleagues have walked us through, um, how we're doing that is a combination of, you know, um, being a, 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 a platform that hosts um, uh, data sets across uh, global providers, offering, um, showing us how to use those, those data sets in the form of story maps, uh, with resources to, to learn how to do that yourself, as well as other uh, educational resources to learn about the SDGs in general, as well as GIS more specifically. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna cover each of those in a second, but just gonna walk through our homepage here. Uh, first thing you can see here is actually two different ways to navigate to uh, data sets. Uh, we've organized them by the familiar SDG cards you can see here. Um, and for each of them, you can see how many data sets we've been able to uh, amass in such a, a, a very short period of time. Um, and then below here, you're able to see some of the, the data sets that we've actually featured um, uh, here on the front page. Um, and I will take a step into that in a second. Um, last thing here on the front page that actually features are um, the My School Today uh, site that, uh, that Mike did a great job of walking us through. And we'll get to that in a second. Um, but wanted to take a look at the Data Hub. Um, so we've had quite a few data sets on this site and we've got a number of different tools here for, for navigating towards the, to get to the right data set. First of all, is search. So for example, um, we're able to just type in a search and get a list of uh, results that match that query. Um, uh, and, you know, any keyword here will, will work. Um, uh, it's pretty, pretty solid. Um, next up here, again, you can see the, the same grid, the uh, SDG, um, SDG cards. Uh, grid. Um, uh, and I'll, come, I'll come back to that in a second, but below here, as Anela uh, alluded to in her, her, her bit, uh, we do feature, you know, the, uh, data sets that are relevant to current events. Um, those are, you know, had chosen by, by, by the team to, uh, to cover what we did, this, what we uh, see as uh, the data sets that are most relevant to current events going on. Our most real-time data sets, um, those generally around like daily updates. Um, and then recently added data sets, which also includes mapping schools, uh, the mapping school locations uh, project, which I'll come back to. Um, going to any of these um, SCG, uh, click on any, any of these SCG uh, cards here will actually take you to the SCG page where you can see a brief overview of, of what that SCG is. Um, and you can get access to official SCG data, um, uh, UN data. Um, here you can see a list of the of the data sets that we have for each of these for, for this particular uh, SD, uh, SDG. Um, and then you can also see more information here related to like you know uh, story maps, like um, learning how to map uh, specifically for uh, that this 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 uh, this uh, SDG, as well as again those official uh, the official data sets for that SDG. Uh, going back to the data hub. You can actually go to scroll down here and click on any one of these, um, and then be able to and then uh, view that uh, that the data sets uh, data set page. Um, this is actually one of the data sets that Anella showed us earlier. Um, but in addition to being able to see this this dashboard here, uh, we're also able to to learn about that that particular uh, data set, including who that who the uh, data provider was. Um, and then a, a, a slew of um, uh, metadata uh, to get more granular information about those, you know, the, the criteria that Anella mentioned earlier, but like how we, you know, what's unique about this data set, how was it produced, um, and including like methodology or methodology uh, credits, so on and so forth. And then also we were able to get the underlying data as well as the ArcGIS layers here uh, by clicking on these, um, these links. Um, yeah, so this is what, this is uh, you know, the, the, the meat of, of the working work as it relates to the data hub, it's that these actual these uh, data sets. Um, some of them are, um, we've got a good amount of uh, dashboards here uh, for these data sets. Some of them are actually just, just maps, um, uh, but they're all like very, very helpful. And we're very, very much thankful for the, uh, the to our data providers for, 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 a lot, for working with us to present those here. Uh, I wanna move on to storytelling. Um, 
But actually, let me take a step back to uh, to uh, the data hub. So these data, these uh, um, as Mel mentioned, um, uh, we're working with uh, different providers across the world to to get to aggregate all these data sets. And so up here on the, the top right of the page, you're able to actually click that and open and submit uh, submit your data. There's a form here that you're able to uh, fill out basic information about the data set, um, <clears throat> uh, the SDG, the, and, and all the rest of the criteria that Nella uh, listed out uh, earlier. Uh, and what you're doing here is actually just sending us a, 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 some information about the data set, and that, that starts a conversation with us to, to see how we can go about um, working with you to, to, to process and, and to curate that data set to bring it into this site. So, Please, please feel free to 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 uh, to click on that and um, start start working with us. Um, moving on to storytelling, um, got a bunch of resources here um, of, uh, around like on existing uh, story maps that, that that leverage some of the data sets that we have on the site uh, on this site, as well as uh, other story other uh, data sets um, uh, all built on uh, ArcGIS. Um, in, in addition to that, we also have like resources at the bottom here that allow us to, 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 to teach you how to actually make your own story maps. These are really, really helpful for being able to take these data sets that can be quite, um, you know, um, uh, data data intensive or like uh, you know, information dense. Um, take these um, take these data sets and actually build a narrative around them. So, as an example of one of those, um, just click on one of these here. Um, these are really, really great at, at, at communicating the context around these data sets um, and not just, you know, just showing you the raw data. Um, so it takes some time to go through, through these. there's a ton of them. Uh, we've got a bunch of different collections here um, for each of the SDGs. You can see the count here for each of these, for each of the SDGs, how, how, many, um, how many story maps we have for each of them. Uh, so I'll just click into one of them here and you can see uh, we've got a good handful of uh, uh, story maps for SDG5. Um, moving on to education, um, we've, got, we've got the opportunity to work with some great organizations to both develop a curriculum for um, learning about the SDGs and GIS, uh, as well as like working with organizations like the Eco Ambassadors uh, Program uh, that's engaging uh, youth in, in, in GIS and digital storytelling. Um, <clears throat> in addition to that, you can also navigate with, uh, navigate to the ArcGIS Learn Lessons for each of the SDGs. I've got a ton of resources in each of those to learn about um, to learn about both again the, the SDGs and uh, the, the uh, GIS uh, more specifically. And also, we got some helpful links here below. Um, wrapping up here, just going to show you if you want to learn more about the, about SDGs today uh, and the motivations behind SDGs today, you please feel free to, to check out the about page. I think Gord did a great job of summarizing the purpose, the motivations behind um, uh, behind SDGs, the opportunity that we see. Um, so please do get a chance to you know check out our frequently asked questions if you have any of those and, and our data evaluation method that I know will lead to. Uh, scrolling down the page, you can see our awesome uh, uh, Rockstar team here. Um, there's the four of us featured here, but there are there have been other people on the team that um, have, have, have come in now. Um, and so we're very grateful to, to, to both them as well as our team of uh, esteemed advisors, including uh, Gordon. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the, um, that is the, web, the, 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 the website. Please take some time to, to, to look through it. If you, if this was very much a team effort, um, uh, 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 different people pulling in um, resources and, 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 and you know, feedback. And there's so many different iterations that we've got through. So if you see anything that you'd love to, to improve on the site, uh, please feel free to reach out and give us that feedback. Um, to wrap up, I um, wanted to also, uh, uh, again, uh, hit, on the, hit the nail on the head. Like we would love to collaborate with you. Um, so feel free to, to reach out to us. Please hit that, hit that uh, link at the top of the page to uh, submit your own data. Um, and also, uh, you can also work with us to publish your GIS story maps uh, uh, with SDGs today. Um, and we also invite you to connect with us across the web, um, on our, obviously on our website, but also across social media, on Twitter and on LinkedIn. Um, and feel free to send us an email as well. So thank you so much for your time. I'm going to pass it back to Mary.